In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to nail the corner pin if in Premiere Pro, like a true editing pro. And before we start, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and the like button. Thank you in advance. Alright, let's dive into mastering the corner pin effect in Premiere Pro. Welcome to today's tutorial where we'll be exploring the ins and outs of corner pin effect in Premiere Pro. First, you'll need to import media to your timeline. This is the footage that you're gonna be working with and the graphics. This effect is essential for creating dynamic and engaging video content. Let's get hands on and walk through the step-by-step -step process of applying the corner pin if in Premiere Pro. I'll show you the practical examples and share some pro tips along the way. For the graphic, I use Canva to create. Of course, they have not sponsored the video, but I like using Canva. It saves me a lot of time. After importing, I'll scale down the graphic, then go straight to the effects panel and get the cropping tool. After cropping to the right size, I'll then search for a plugin in Premiere Pro called Corner Pin. Then drag the plugin to the graphic. Once done, I'll then move forward to pin the graphic to the right place on the footage. Then after that, I'll start some automations using. Then after that, I'll start some automations using the upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right. I'll do the same for the end of the footage and play some automations while scaling the poster to the right side. After that, I'll now start automating the middle part of the poster since I want to pin it perfectly to the wall.
the process looks tedious, but at the end, it's so satisfying.